The Nimbin Aquarius Festival was a counter-cultural arts and music festival organised by the Australian Union of Students. It was the fourth in a biannual series of festivals, first organised by the National Union of Australian University Students the first Australian Universities Arts Festival was held in Sydney in 1967, and the second Australian Universities Arts Festival was held in Melbourne in 1969. The third added, Aquarius, to its name and was held in Canberra in 1971. The fourth and last was held in Nimbin, New South Wales in 1973. The Aquarius Festival aimed to celebrate alternative thinking and sustainable lifestyles. The 10-day event was held from 12 to 23 May 1973 and co-directed by Johnny Allen and Graham Dunstan. Vernon Treweek also played a part in organising the event. It is often described as Australia's equivalent to the Woodstock Festival and the birthplace for Australia's hippie movement. Estimated turn-up at Nimbin was from 5,000 to 10,000 people. Topic. Performers Performers at the festival included The White Company, an experimental theatre troupe featuring a number of alternative culture artists including Peter Carolan, singer Paul Joseph, Donnie McCormick ex Rug Band, The Larrikans and Ian Farr. Also appearing were the South African pianist Dollar Brand later known as Abdullah Ibrahim, and tightrope walker and unicyclist Philippe Petty, who gained worldwide fame the following year by walking between the rooftops of the Twin Towers at the World Trade Center. <laughs> <laughs> Legacy The festival had a permanent effect on the economy of Nimbin, as many festival participants decided to remain in the district the area was previously a dairying and banana growing region in severe decline. Some of those that stayed might be defined as hippies, but in fact the larger percentage came from all sorts of backgrounds and life experience, ranging from 18 to 80. One group pooled resources after the Nimbin Aquarius Festival and bought a then 500 hectare 1, acre property at Tuntable Falls in the next valley east, below Mount Nardi, and formed a community called the Coordination Cooperative. Other groups followed suit and formed communes that continue today. Examples include Paradise Valley Pastoral Company in NMB Nye, while multiple occupancy was basically a cheap housing alternative. There were some self described spiritual communities that shared particular values, like Body Farm and Dharmananda, but they tended to be closer to the neighboring the Channon and Terrania Creek than Nimbin. Mullumbimbi and Byron Bay attracted more of the moneyed, New Age people, while Nimbin attracted impecunious wanderers and backpackers. Within a decade, the Aquarians were outnumbered by the continuing flow of disaffected urbanites and tree changes coming into the area. Interviews were conducted in 1992 documenting the alternative lifestyle movement of northern NSW in the 1970s focusing on the town of Nimbin and the 1973 Aquarius Festival. Interviewees discussed how they arrived in Nimbin, their efforts in organizing the Aquarius Festival, and the lasting impact the festival had on the township. At the 10th anniversary of the Aquarius Festival, the Australian Association of Sustainable Communities (AASC) was formed. Topic: See also List of Australian music festivals New Age communities List of historic rock festivals List of jam band music festivals <laughs>